All right. Sorry about that. We'll we'll call this part two of the virtual pet with Sprite Lab lesson. That was very strange. My browser just decided to delete itself from life for whatever reason. So anyway, uh, we're back. We'll call this part two. The other video is part one. So if you're confused or whatever, here we go. <laughs> that was odd, right? Okay. So let's play a sound when the penguin touches the fish. Let's see what code does it remember? Changing the size. Okay, good. Uh, so Sprite behavior, Sprite begins. Uh, Penguin begins. We're going to have him uh, play a, let's, let's make him actually, let's make him let's see. We've already got growing by 25. Let's have him start patrolling. Let's see if that works. There we go. All right. And I'd still want to play a sound. How do we play a sound? Sprites, change the color, move color. I feel like I just did this. Oh, play sound. There we go. Play sound when he eats the fish. Uh, let's see. Let's get kind of goofy with it. Uh, where are the animals again? There they are. Let's have it make a random like d dolphin sound choose. Okay. Let's make sure that's working. Whoop, run. That works. All right, cool. Great job. What else can you add to your program? Try anything that you like. Try these ideas. Add another sprite that interacts with your pet in a different way. Use a uh, when pet clicked block to make your pet stop any behaviors. Okay. So events when clicked stops everything, right? So behaviors stops everything. We can do that. Um, and then when we click him, let's say Sprite begins, and we're going to make him start just jittering. Let's see if that works. So here, and here, and then click him. Now he's jittering. Cool. That works. Uh, let's add one more Sprite. down here, move this stuff out of my way. All right, so we're gonna add a, let's see, we'll add a broccoli and let's put that broccoli down in the middle. And let's change its size. Set the broccoli size to 50. Yep, that's fine. Wanted it to be smaller. And then we're going to make the broccoli draggable. Let's make sure that works. Yep. All right. And then we're going to use another event. So when the penguin touches the broccoli now, we're going to have the penguin like run away. Uh, let's see. Penguin begins. He's like, oh, I don't want no broccoli. Don't make me eat it, Mom. Uh, let's see. Penguin will... How do I make him move north? Move north. There we go. 
All right, let's see if that works. Yeah, <laughs> he just runs away. All right, perfect. I love that. All right, I'm happy with this. So let's make sure everything's working. Shrimp makes them grow bigger every time he eats one. The fish, he gets really big, gets super excited when he touches the... Uh-oh. He's like, there we go. The broccoli makes him run away. All right, very good. I love that. All right, we're, we're going to finish right there. This was part two of the video. I apologize that this got broken up into two parts. I'm a one take guy, one take Dave. Uh, so you get what you get, right? You love it. I'll see you back here next time for lesson nine, lesson 10, and so on in this express unit. Let's go.